Hi. Got a fancy new game for you this week. Uh, fancy, you say? Yes. Uh, this is Din's Legacy, which um, is a sequel to, or at least a spiritual sequel to Din's Curse. A game Correct. that I reviewed. I'm pretty sure within when during the first year or so of the site. So, Sounds about right. About nine, ten years ago. Uh, I feel like that was uh, on Mac. It, I did. I, mean, I did play the Mac version. You're correct. Yeah. Um. So it is a. So this is from the say. This is from Soldak uh, Entertainment, who does. Who, they did Zombicide. They did. Um, Drox. Drox operative. operative. Yeah. Um. I feel like there's another game in there somewhere that I'm missing, but uh, a lot of action RPG kind of legacy, legacy is the wrong word to use here, but yeah, uh, background for, for Soldak. Yeah. So um, I guess if I was to just try and describe this game, it's an action RPG in the vein of uh, you know, like a Diablo, and I, I'm going to go almost at a Diablo 1 here. Um, at least yeah. in the way it, the way it feels and the way the levels are laid out, um, but the the kick is that you're granted a nemesis of some kind, and so every time you start a game up, you're given a, a town to defend, and you're given a, a nemesis. In this case, it's actually given us a zombie lord to fight, so we have to hunt down the zombie lord and kill it. Uh, well, but... and I'm going to interject and, and correct you already. So this particular uh, instance of, of Soldax action RPGs, the quest that you have in the top left there, that's uh, the area Zombie is Lord. Condition, though, right? Yeah, for this area, yeah, that yeah, changes. Yeah, yeah, that's their... what I. Uh, that, let, let me let me keep going. Okay. So you have a base. You're get, in an area. And the area has a series of quests that that kind of get sprung um, organically on you. The, see, the the game is moving the same time you are, so you'll be hunting for whatever the the uh, quest objective is. In this case, the zombie lord. In my game, it's actually an elementalist that causes a lot of havoc. Um, but as you are battling throughout the levels, the uh, enemy is also getting stronger. He's, you know, there are enemies inside uh, little mini dungeons that uh, will gain levels or rank up as you go. The uh, the lord of the area, uh, in my experience, will taunt you and say, uh, "You're you're a jerk face," or "I'm going to smash your base," and he sends an enemy out, and uh, you actually have to, you know protect all the NPCs they can fight those bosses the, the like the enemies off but they will eventually succumb to them so you have to try and find the objective pretty quickly um, in order to uh, succeed and um, yeah so we'll we'll get started I guess um, one of the big things yeah, in this game out is here killing the stuff yeah okay I haven't grabbed any quests I don't know if the quests I don't know if the monster starts moving uh, until you grab the quest, but um, generally the other big thing about this game is that you are a, a mutant of some sort, so you're, as you um, level up, you will randomly, I believe it's random, um, gain yes. <clears throat> uh, mutations on the abilities that you have equipped. So, for instance, I have this ability called Bash. And it ha I have mutated to uh, turn that ability into a bash of death runes, which causes a giant explosion onto everything on the screen. Uh, you just died. Yeah, I did. Just okay, so, ja so Jason just died, and the enemy that killed him is now ranked up. So it is now a named enemy, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, but I'm gonna put some points 
around and uh, check out the skills. So you have basic skills, so these are things like regen, weapon skills. Uh, the skills tab are like active abilities, uh, or sometimes they're passive. And then here's the mutations. So the mutations will have an effect on an ability or a passive skill. And um, you can use the skill points you gain to actually remove them. Um, I think you can uh, also um, put points back into ones that you have de-leveled, but you can only rank them down so far. Um. So here's a couple things I'm just going to add. That win condition, Zombie Lord, is actually the win condition that is part of the randomized thing uh, on the whole for an area when you create an area. And those win conditions vary greatly because, for instance, there was there are some times where it's Holy War where you're, you don't have a nemesis. You actually have to go around destroying the holy altars of a rival tribe. Mm -hmm. um, there's 56 different win conditions that can spawn. Uh, that, that have been programmed into it. So yeah, so again, it's like totally random what you're going to get. You know, sometimes it may be you have to kill one enemy, sometimes it may be a different, you know, set of objectives, stuff like that to do. But it is definitely going to be changing every single time. Mm -hmm. So apparently this instance of our game spawned with no doors to our base. So we actually, stuff is already uh, in here caused traffic. Yep. And I, part is because I made a bunch of stuff mad. I ran out to the world where, where I thought, oh, like this is the next area over, it should be fine. But no, everything was level 7 and 8 and 9 and bad news bears. Alright, so let's see. Kill Dread Taint the Sprinter, the Mutant Lord, is a quest we have. That is, the quests are all ranked in priority, so this one is priority one. This is our main objective for the area. And then all of these other quests are priority three, which means that you can go do them, but you should prioritize finding the big bad while well, you can. Dread so, Taint's coming for you. I, I dread... Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna make the joke. I'm just, just... Let's see, which uh which zone do you wanna head for first? One where the enemies are not all fifty bajillion plus levels. Okay. I um... went south and I went west and both of those were mistakes apparently. Alright. Well what so... level are you? East, I am level five. Okay, I'm level eleven. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so that's probably that. Did, that, did I, that is about do it. <laughs> What's that? That'll about do it. <laughs> yeah. I have. Uh, oh, cool. I have been cursed. I have the sonic blast skill. Uh, the other thing I was going to add was like, so those mutations, it is random, like the, as far as the, um, uh, like what happens, sometimes you'll actually get negative mutations that you then have to use, uh, like at least in the normal version of the game, you spend points to take those mutations off. They have, there's a hardcore and a semi-hardcore. Like a semi-hardcore, I think, is where mutations are permanent, so you can't take take them away, basically. Is that our base again? Is that our base? Uh, I don't see anybody. That sound, but let's see, someone's. <clears throat> Uh, so, yeah, this this game is actually really difficult to like explain as you go because there's a lot going on. But you know, I'm just gonna go south. See what's what. Yeah, part of this game is actually finding the dang boss to fight. And 
and uh, it's very. Um, and I'm not just talking about the graphics here, but this game is very much in the spirit of like RPGs in the 90s. In that it, it asks you to stay on top of a lot of stuff at all times. Hey, if you look at uh, things like Path of Exile and thought, hmm, I wonder if there's a game that is more complex or something, or, you know, something like that is like, I wonder if there's something that's a little bit more than that. You may want to look into this game. Yeah, this is way more like a, I would say it's a lot like a, a uh, CRPG. It's kind of like a traditional. Sure, yeah. Like a traditional CRPG than it is a uh, Diablo-like. Pretty cool, so we'll run around a bit and maybe complete some objectives. Uh, uh, okay. Jason, you said you've been talking to the developer a bit, so you can drop some nuggets. Uh, I felt like I did drop some nuggets. No, um, uh, the, the, the uh, uh, one that's not streaming. <laughs> well, I felt like I dropped some nuggets while you were streaming. Uh, the other thing I was going to say was, uh, you know, just in chatting with him some and playing around with a couple of little things here. Um, so characters, if you don't do the hardcore, semi-hardcore, I mean, those obviously you can still use and do stuff with, but, you know, part of those character models are when they die, they're dead, right? Like, you know, you can't resurrect or anything. Um, so for you know, folks who enjoy those kind of mechanics, right, to their games, that certainly has that. Um, are you doing that or am I doing that? The snow storm thing. Okay. So I got some mutation that was like, oh, this is now causing ice damage or something. Um, Alright, so the, here's a dungeon, but there's no quests. Like, none of the monsters we're seeking are in it. So we can go... Can't show really long message with enemies nearby and not paused. Um, well, there's a big dude here. Draining defender of quick feet. Make him mad. Let you go do that. Alright, so let's pop in here. Uh, the other thing I was going to say was that. Uh, ooh, small dungeon. Um, the idea is just kind of like since you can choose things like map size and some like other sort of uh, complexity facts factors to all this part of the idea is just like you can make this a really quick sort of session with friends right like mm -hmm. you know do a tiny map here's your objective you probably can spend just a little bit of time um okay, I'm out of healing leveling up and doing uh, doing some quests and maybe you complete this and then when you complete an area your character persists so you could then go and you do another area you know the next time it's like okay hey we can get you know get started again do uh, something you know another little thing with these same characters so yeah in some ways there is a, that kind of almost CRPG element to it right where it's uh, you, you can just do these little sort of mini campaigns kind of a thing yeah um, which is cool actually, uh, my death because every time it triggers it also stuff on the crap Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I am having bad memories of Diablo 1 and 2, like the little lightning oh, yeah, stuff with some of these. Yeah. Some of these enemies with their. Rock and Nishu. Everybody's cleared of. Yeah, let me see. I 
make you lucky. Yeah? Yeah. Can we do that during the stream? Listen to the song. Oh, man, and, and there is, like, as far as the loot goes and stuff like that, like, there is... There's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is a game just that, like, at any given point in time, I'm just like, there's a lot happening, there's a lot going on, and it's not necessarily a bad thing, it, it just, you know... It just is, like, okay... You know, you, you, it's something that, you know, if, you, if you're really looking for... Uh, something with a little bit more depth to it, or you know, a little bit more going on than Diablo or anything like that. It's got it. Like it has gotten spades. Uh, I poured it out. Okay. Let's go northwest. There Unwelcoming another... hinterland of death. I thought there was another. The the dungeon we were in uh, looked like it had a locked door, and I didn't want to actually try and so there's, figure it uh, out. Yeah, there's up to level three. Did you actually find the up to level three? Yeah. All right, hold on. Let's go back. Uh, my my dude is infected here. Good. Infected with what? I cannot say. The curse of life. Oh. Totally right here. Wow. That's smart. There's level four. So the other thing is that it's, I think it's present in most of their, their games, the hybrid class system. Yeah, but this is a pretty unique implementation of it. Yeah. Um, I admit, I'm not actually entirely sure how uh, it works. Um, so, just from what I've been able to glean do so far, and I didn't want to ask too much just because like, part of this was like, oh, I think this is going to be kind of fun to discover. Um, but the way it works is, alright, so if you are in a good spot, bring up your skill screen. Yeah. Have you done any mutations with other classes yet? This is the only class I have played. Okay. Uh, so the skills that you see in your skills screen, mm -hmm. the and uh, are the ones that come with the initial class that you choose, yes. whatever it may be. Okay. If you then go to your character and go to, and and this tooltip is pretty useful. So hover over the mutate button. Mm -hmm. It kind of breaks down what happens, but what it does is your armor and weapon skills, so the things that are in like the basic tab, none of those change. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okie doke. <laughs> I just got killed because I was in my menu. We're somewhere safe. I was. Oh, wow. Then something bad came something along. Something super bad. Oh, wow. Strolled on up, said hey. Yeah, that's level 11. No, thank you. Why am I... I feel like I'm not even kidding. I Alright, so I just lost... So you incur an XP penalty when you uh, die. So that's, that's good. There we did it. I win. Okay. There's a yellow dagger over here. Yeah, I don't use daggers. Oh, your buddy guide. Yeah, he sure did. That's why. That's who we fought just now, was your buddy. Ah, fun. Check out this gravestone. Nothing. 
Okay, so I can mutate. Let's let's do this live. Uh, mutate from specialty because I don't have an existing <coughs> character. So so yeah. So your basics. So your basics, right? All your armor skills, stuff like that, stays. Any skills that you put points into stay. All the other skills that you have have a chance, uh, like it breaks down, you have a 45% chance to keep it, and there's a 45% chance for it to come from the character or specialty that you choose, and then there's a 10% chance for it to be completely random. Let's see, how about Assassin? Oh wow, I have 10 mutation points, I totally missed this entire UI. Well, I mean, and it's not necessarily something that you want to go into a bunch, right? Because, yeah, you know, it, it depends on yeah, sort of what you... That's pretty neat. All right. Forward. Nightshade class. Reaver class. Ninja class. Very cool. So yeah, so as you actually go through and uh, uh, combine things, it will, or you know, mutate into other classes, it will unlock additional classes that you can then gotcha. mutate into or start as, you know, depending on, like, it, so it unlocks it for all future characters. And so your next character that you play as, you could just start as that. mutating again so it, i mean like i said it's a it's a really yeah it's good but but like complex system kind of okay yeah, so you really what, have to you dig know, into this yeah what do i want to go into what sort of skills do i really want what you know does do i want my is there something like i particularly want as my specialty you know um, <laughs> wow the skill screen just got crazy Right, and and then so yeah, so then you also have the chance for it to just go completely random on you too, which is uh, cool, right? So like any time yeah. is okay. Now you just get some random ability in there that you didn't necessarily want, but maybe it's good or it works out well for you. Who knows? I need to go back to town. I got to sell off some stuff. Sure. Um, there's bags, so like you only get additional. Um, Because we killed your former person who turned into a bad person, we completed this. That's one of my favorite parts of this, is just like, hey, it's your, your buddy that you didn't really pay any great attention to. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Stop screwing around. Uh, do you want no. to um, maybe restart at a lower with you hosting at a lower level? So um, sure, it's not quite as deadly to you. Yeah, let me. You can just use the area you already have, or sure, yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna sell off this stuff because I don't think I'm ever gonna use it. I'm gonna repair my ish. Six items, okay, so. Don't care about that. I'm just gonna sell that off, keep those. Yeah, the fact that inventory management too is dictated by finding stuff, like you have to find bags in the world, and the bags themselves can have rarities. 
Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like uh, your flasks and Path of Exile having effects and stuff. Let's see. I think I'm good there. So, yeah, let me do exit. You have left the game. Oh my gosh. Okay. I am a great leader. Kill Dark Widow the Bolt. Um, also, the max players of this. Um, it's basically like. <laughs> I asked the dev, I was like, so. Let me see. Like typing players 8 in Diablo 2? Uh, but I mean, it's like. It's it's beyond that. So like the m n maximum number of players that you can host on your um, server is mm -hmm. entirely dependent upon how good your internet connection and computer are. That's pretty funny. So do you want to have sixteen people in your game? That's fine. I really as do. long as your computer can handle it. Do you want to have sixty-four people in your game? That's fine. As long as your computer and internet connection can handle it. I think like I just was like okay we had to put a cap on this so I think I put it down as like I don't know, 16 or 8 I forget what I did like the database entry for us but it was like okay we just had to, to do a cut off with a note that says hey by the way When the game is ready. Game is ready. Okay. I'm going to save and exit. And then multiplayer. Okay. Is it the same server? Mm hmm. We're doomed. All right. Cool. I also love the fact that, uh, like, these are definitely Rock random. <laughs> yeah. Like the foggy bottom, dance, dank forest of gloom, or whatever. That's, that is exactly where I want to be. All right, lead the way. All right. Uh, I don't know anything on the map. All right. Well, let's just play the song. Go out this way and see what we have. Oh, I have some skill points though. All right. Uh. I'll put some stuff into Eternal Halls of Explosions. That's a pretty dope name. Sword. Mail armor, yeah. Alright. <clears throat> uh, I feel powerful with all these enemies. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll just have you walk in here and kill my nemesis for me. Alright, did you find it already? I now have weapons with this skill. Okay, one of my items broke. Cool. I literally, when we were playing before, tried repairing and it said I couldn't. Yeah, if I, I had to do it like one by one for repairing. We should say that this game is, uh... It is an early act, early though, yeah. Uh, like, so there, there's definitely stuff that's... Oh, no! You killed Timothea! <laughs> there's Steel Stroke the Fatiguer. Uh, and 
Uh, yeah, there's other clans in this game too, so like, you know, you can make nice with other people. So this, the, so these guys, like this spider there, is actually part of the other clan. of our help. Fate says... While you distracted the zombies, we'll be taking the food. Alright. What jerks. It, it's, it's interesting just because, like, it's, a, it's you know, one of the things was when I first saw that, I was like, this is a little bit of a leftover element almost from Zombicite. Like, Zombicite was very much about you having all these different clans and having to, like have diplomatic relations with them and right. in the middle of this zomp you know fighting basically enemies a lot like this you know kind of a thing this is all kind of set within a similar same world or whatever oh fate needs our help all right what do you want fate you all dying back here just the two of you tell them that they can pound sand Got infected. Here's the smuggler renegade labyrinth. Looks like there's stuff down here. Do it. Oh wow, there's Ooh, there's some stuff down here. Yeah. It does get a little framey when the network decides. The wishing well. Oh, it was really an ambush. Ah. Wishing well was an ambush. That's never happened. Small silver chest here. Tell me more about your soft leather shoulders. There's plenty of, the one thing I do like is that like, there's tons of warp gates between areas, so it's pretty easy oh. to get back and forth. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty quick. Dire Mids, the guard. Don't bother me if you want to live. You got the line wrong, dude. It's... Yeah, come on, man. Oh. The holy ah, the shield obelisk. If you if you fit if you fit a bunch of extra players on the server, I feel like the way to play this game is actually to like split up <laughs> because because the whole world is moving while you are. If you all focus on like one area at a time, you're going to have to be running all over the place trying to you know catch up to everything, but. If you have multiple people in the game, you can tackle multiple dungeons at the same time, or if there's like a, a hard boss, you group back up. Yeah. Like it's a very di like it's it's very different. It's, 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 I liked Din's Curse, uh, the, the previous game that I played, because it was just it was so different, and I always mm -hmm. like being able to make weird classes and stuff kind of sold axe thing <laughs> yeah and i mean like you know i'm i i really i always enjoy seeing what he does with his games like you know that 
there there are things that like I may not be able to get fully into or, or that may be for me, but like they're always doing something interesting and cool and, and I think Oh hey, here's my nemesis is just like here level six at, We won uh, cool, hey. We can click on the blinking icon when we're done with this area. Alright, well let's just I'm gonna open up this medium reward chest and claim all the loot for myself. Oh, there's... Uh, it spawned one for me, too. There's a blue. I think that's a good thing. What? You got one, too? You didn't do anything. Excuse me. I killed the dude. <laughs> uh, you killed the dude, and I was right here. <laughs> a few screens away. I was killing other dudes. Uh, uh -huh. Alright, well, let's see. Let's click the icon. We'll leave this area. Yay! Nine quests solved. I love that it's solving quests. Alright, so now. The server's gonna create a new area and we'll see what we get. Yeah. Keep Glad we were able to do this. In in the current game, I have the, uh, the location of the boss is spelled out for me, and the zone it says he's in does not exist. So I was pretty sure that that was bugged. Uh, there's also, yeah, I like this. There's a, you can select the starting monster level based off of your level yeah. so join the server oh wow you must this survive is... oh wow yo yeah there's just dudes everywhere oh that's wild I just came into a party oh that guy's level 12 you know if I had known it was gonna be this kind of party oh that guy's level 12 on my ass. Okay, laggy, laggy, laggy. Wow. Okay. Thanks. Uh... Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 That is hilarious. <laughs> well, uh, this is a. Uh... Like we said, it's early. I'm not sure if this was on. Din's us. avatar has. Oh no, there's a bunch of. Oh. See, what I'm not sure is if we needed to make sure that we were actually at all like, close to the same level. No, I mean, I chose to make it well, yeah, maybe. Din avatar was killed. They are just going to town here. <laughs> These are all named enemies. <laughs> they have all been promoted. Wow. <laughs> I love it. I love this. I'm gonna kill this one. Maybe. Nope. I just... <laughs> this guy's almost dead. Let me just kill him. Please. I wanted to just die. Oh, no, now all came back and he's super pissed. <laughs> <laughs> but he's also attacking other things. And we're going to lose in eight minutes. <laughs> okay, I think oh, the, the guy, one that guy. Is dead. Yeah, now it's just like spawn, attack, 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 die. Spawn, attack, 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 die. Oh, that guy got super huge now. Oh. <laughs> What? what the heck? What? <laughs> Help! What fresh hell is this? Oh, there's a fire down here. Oh, stuff is on fire. It's burning. Oh. Yeah, this is. I just I show up this and I is die. Bad, my friend. This is super bad. <laughs> This is only wave 4 of 15. 
What? I have a mutation. Uh, I now fear orcs. Oh. I have no points. Oh, and like half of the guys on the screen are orcs. You, yeah. This is good. You you are a real asset right now to. Uh... I'm just gonna pick up all of these here soul stones. To all these endeavors. Oh my uh. Like one hit it. This is so funny. Oh. Everybody's pissed off at everybody. <laughs> what are you? Huh. What are you? Uh. What are you, Dimensional Gate? Uh, dimensional Gate is... Did you go... Mess that up. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna... probably start over. I'm so. not... <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. I think we can't beat this. <laughs> Although it looks like you killed a named guy. No, no, they did that. I had nothing to do with that guy dying. I now have fear orcs. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty scared of orcs right now as well. How about giving me a run the F away from Orcs ability? If I'm so afraid of them. Alright, I blew up. Blew up a dimensional gate, so we should be fine now. Yeah, until they spawn in one. Oh, that's just all bad news right there. <laughs> we start another game. No, this is just. This has just gotten so bad. We're it's, try it's, we're I, trying to show this game off. <laughs> I know! This is showing this game off in the best <laughs> way possible! How level are these? 12.9. Because they gain experience for killing us! <laughs> they do! <laughs> They're just farming us! <laughs> yeah! Hey look, two more dimensional gates. Um, four. Just a dude's name, Four. Any luck, they'll all just kill each other. Is that what you're banking on? Uh, that's my one and only hope. I, they're pouring in from outside. Well, good. Yeah, you, you go. Oh, no, that's terrible. This is all just awful and terrible. Everything is bad. Everything is bad. Can we please start a new game? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> as funny as that is, I don't think it's in our best interest to show off a, bro a broken instance. Nothing about that is broken other than <laughs> our spirit. <laughs> I mean, the fact that it looked like it spawned us in, in the middle of all of that I, that's, it, that, that was that scenario. That's entirely what that was. Okay. That's, that's my point. There's 56 different scenarios. Okay. Or this, this, you know. I'm gonna make a new character. Oh, I, I didn't make a new character. I kept mine, but I put it to a more normal leveling for the other okay, enemies. Just will... use your, yeah, just use your existing. Uh. Do 33% less damage to them in combat. Oh, that's good. It takes five skill points to get rid of it. That's great. I'm glad that we didn't make new characters because it's not like half the enemies in the game are orcs. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So this one is different. Uh, we have to destroy all the rifts, uprisings, and solve any other problems they have started in this area. Hey Shaya, what quest do you got for us? Destroy the gate. Okay. 
It is in the raging dreaded cells under Rot River Thicket of Ghosts. Oh, I'm I love bust all of this crap I accidentally picked up while trying to. Uh... We have to go destroy the gate in the monstrous glooming street. I, I'm telling you, man, I love. I just love this random name generation. Right. Albush Forest, perfect. Owl Wildfire. Bush? Owl Bush Forest. Wildfire going? Forest of Curses, Night Track of Horror, Night Track of Horror. <laughs> it's Come a on, fucking get... metal album name. War going. Pass of Rubies. Oh, uh, I love it. I have the first album for my band, uh, Goblins and G Hosts. <laughs> What do I got my inventory? Put an item into shirts. No, I can't. All right. Let's see. You went northwest. Okay. Uh, one wish I do have for this is uh, seeing, being able to much more clearly see the location of your teammates. Because every no, friendly NPC looks the same. Bingston. Bingston? Yeah, I have a I have a little flashing notification that says Bingston infested. infected. <laughs> I think it's from huh? like two games two uh two games ago, Come but Tell me about your buddy Bingston. I, look, we're not friends. <laughs> I, I mean... I, I know him from college. Not what I hear. Look, every time Bingston shows up, he asks me for money. And he says he's going to use it to get, like, a suit or something to get a good job. And all he does is buy video games. <laughs> Come home, and he's on the couch, and he's playing video games. I'm like, hey, Bingston, how's it going, how's buddy? The job, how's the job search How's the job going? search? And he's like, oh, it's, I got a bunch of leads. I met some guys at the coffee shop. Uh, we had so many ideas. We're going to start a company. Why yeah. are we beating up this statue? I don't know. Tell me tell me about this company, Bingston. You see, it's a, it's a startup that's never been done before. Uh, so okay. my idea is that you can... Um, you can host people on your couch, right? But it's only so they can sleep. And so you charge them for nap time. It's really good. I think you'll like it. Uh, and, and, uh, I just can you need, tell me? Look, dude, dude, I hear you, but I'm going to need $100,000. <laughs> Trust me, you'll get it back tenfold. We're gonna make millions, bro. Millions. Bingston, Bingston, you are really are infected. <laughs> the other thing you have uh, to know is Bingston does a lot of cocaine. <laughs> How much cocaine? Look, you, you ever play Hitman 2? The super cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> they got that idea because they From saw Bingston's stash. Uh. Oh, so you're saying uh, Bingston is famous? Uh, no. Bingston just happens to know all of the wrong people at the right time. <laughs> I'm just getting a ton of XP for whatever you're doing. Killing so let me just say, leaders. on behalf of my experience bar, thank you. No, actually, that's the that's the cocaine. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you've been you've been running your mouth for like 20 minutes. It's crazy. Wait, am I Bingston? No, no, no. You're Jason. Uh, to... Don't worry about it. Fine. 
entrance to Amber Monstrous Maze. I kind of want to go in the monster. I discovered Albush Forest. Update on Albush Forest. There are no owls. Okay. Where was the entrance to the Owlbush Forest? Where was the exit or the entrance? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Weird wolf thing and a jellyfish man. Sure. And I'm just gonna hit him. I think that means you went too far. Oh. <laughs> I think it means that I'm being. <laughs> Possibly. Uh, I have. Further. The zombie firekeeper sanctuary exploded. I don't know what that means. I have no oh, there you are. Okay. Yeah, just, just an arrow pointing to your teammate. Awesome. Hello, friend. Oh. Hi. Oh, hello. It's me. That guy. You might know me as me. It's over here. Not Pinkston. Isn't he, though? I don't know, maybe he is. Tell the Owlbush Forest. Will you stop finding the Owlbush Forest? <clears throat> Silent Shade has been spotted in Owlbush Forest. Alert. <laughs> Fine, we're going. Get in. Pirate Ark Caves? Oh, I got a pirate Ark Here with my friend Duff. Oh, the guy makes the cakes. Uh. No, this is Duff McWhalen. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay. You know, you know, we have a history, right? Uh. No. I'll let him explain. <laughs> Is super cocaine involved? Look, all I'm gonna say is that <laughs> Duff knows Pinkston. And not for any good reason. Protected Howling Jungle's Gate. I like it. Uh, it makes me feel safe. It's protected after all. It's, it's a protected gate. Does it mean it like can't be drafted later or something? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll follow you. Oh, yeah. We now deep into the Albush Forest. A sparking vile Torva. Small creeping scorpion. I'm not small, I mean, God made me. Berserk, small creeping scorpion of crits. Uh, fighting off of 
bone hunter at the moment. Well, do you have any bones? Uh, uh nope. I'm boneless. <laughs> You're boneless. Huh? <laughs> yep. My boneless <laughs> Uh, negative, I am a meat popsicle. <laughs> Bloodtooth the Bleeder has been spotted in the forest. Well, I mean, if he's bleeding, that means the job is right? The Zerker Moon Clan Stalker of Minor Resistance. Accurate description. That resistance was minor. We're back into the protected howling jungles. I want to go back into the... Look, all the action's happening in the Albush Forest. I don't know, this is a lot of action right here. That... Okay, that's not good. Whatever that thing is. Yeah, it looks like an electric trap. Alright, I'm heading back into the Albush Forest. I want to go find my buddies. Yeah, if you, if you see Bingston, tell me it owes me 100 bucks. Okay. Found the owl bush forest gate. Nice. I found some red right clan stalkers. <laughs> I uh. Oh, I found a sapping defender. I am now level seven. I have no idea what level I am. <laughs> it says I'm level 9, but it also says I'm level 13. Mutated. Uh, holy shield. Gives me armor, takes away that. should uh, maybe wrap it up here. Yeah. Now that we've actually gotten to explore a bit. We won now that level, we've seen... We uh, broken level. <clears throat> now that we've seen uh, just how good we are when faced with impossible odds, we uh, successfully fed some, uh, some orcs. Look, I'm going to tell you right now that in that survival instance, I died more times than I have in my second row playthrough to date. Uh, sounds like it's working as intended. But yeah, this is uh, Din's Legacy, uh, currently available in early access on Steam. And. I think, you know, like, it just describing this game and, and you know, uh, obviously we'll do a write-up of this, but, like, it, it's a game that you kind of have to see and then see just how much is happening and then be like, okay, yeah, that's what I want. I want one of those. I, 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 I require this. I, yeah, I require this in my life uh, because it is. It's, you know, and, and like I said earlier, like, I always enjoy playing and seeing just sort of what new stuff uh, uh, they do and what kind of twists. I, th I think the mutation twist is really interesting just as a way to kind of cross your uh, different uh, ha uh, classes. There's randomness, uh, both good and bad ways, right? So you may end up with something that you didn't expect, like a combination of things. Like, oh, hey, now all of a sudden I can do, you know, the skill that I wasn't part of any of this is now something I can put points into. Uh, or I didn't get these skills I want from this class, or, you know, like it, all that. All that is good stuff, as far as I'm concerned, and, and uh, just makes it that much more interesting for what sort of class builds you can make and everything else. What is an optimum build? What do you want to do? I think largely depends on just sort of as you go through and look at these different skills and everything else. Like I still have zero idea, like what on you know, what I should mutate with, what I, skills I want to put points into, but uh, yeah, I'm also you, not 
too concerned about it just because it's like there's there's room like it's easy enough to start over and get back into and get to you know uh, a point where you know, uh, you know as, and as we saw too like the this on tiny maps in particular it's just like oh here you go like boss is pretty much like right here it doesn't take long to get to and, you know is able to take uh, them down pretty quickly so yeah these little bite size sort of things for for playing the game, I think is always nice. I was gonna say the game actually reminds me, like Soldak in general, kind of reminds me of uh, on the Mac. There's a developer, writer web software, and they they make a bunch of like isometric uh, RPGs, and they are kind of like out of a different era, like. It really does feel like early night they, they feel like early 90s uh, games in a way that this feels maybe like a late 90s uh, hardcore RPG uh, chock full of uh, ideas um, yeah so I I, I I I really look forward to seeing where this uh, where this goes one and especially once uh, the base defenses get uh, added back in oh here's the pirate arc Anyway, uh, that is uh, Din's legacy. Yeah. Is that the guy that I saw the notification about earlier? Kill this guy. Kill Bloodtooth. And there's a. I, Kill. I don't think we. This is like showed it, but you have a hero, like a player stash and a shared stash, which you also have to provide bags for. So like you have to find bags, and you know, I mentioned that for your inventory expansion, but you also have to find bags to right. uh, put into your stash and share and stuff like that. But uh, you, you can share stuff across uh, across the characters that you create. So if you create like more of a mage character, you can funnel stuff over to them. There's going to be stat and level requirements for all that sort of stuff, but... Well, I'm mutating across the characters. Pretty interesting. Well, so that... Yeah, well, and, you know, like I said, too, like, you're... The one thing that's locked with all that is whatever your basic is. So, like, as far as you are a cloth user, you're always going to be a cloth user. You're always going to have that sort of base of things, uh, which makes some mutations, obviously, then worthless, right? So stuff that is more obviously you're going to have gear that's more like staves and wands that are geared towards being a magic user Right. then if your melee spec is going to not do you much if you start going down that mutation path or whatever but yeah interesting hybrids regardless right that you can make from those so yeah, yeah. Cool. cool well thanks Thank everyone for, for joining us. yeah I'm glad I could give you a healthy fear of orcs There's a mighty bleak catacomb over here. Look, Bingston is still infected, and I need to go tell him off oh, fine. again. But so, it's mighty bleak. Yeah, but hey, Silent Shade died, and the world yeah, I... lost nothing of value. And You're welcome. We'll see you next week. Uh, do we know what we're playing? Uh, nope. Cool. I'm sure it will be something interesting. That always is. <laughs>